Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. That begins now. Today I want to be I'm gonna make a making a tutorial on how to make a t tutorial to to make. Okay, now we can have a fresh page to do our work. First thing we want to do is operator equals input my god i can't even spell that input is um and my god i'm actually the worst at spelling enter and operation operator <laughs> and you can do plus minus no minus minus times divide division they could do like that like that and then what we can do is um num one num one equals num one equals float float Input. Uh, no, actually, forgot. I had to delete these, not those. Input. <laughs> I put in the wrong one. So, uh, put the curly braces, curly what, brackets around the input. Then inside that, put another one, which says, enter the first number um yep okay and then we can just copy and paste basically and what's your second number yep oh, second no second okay and then what we want to do is create the if statement which like basically runs the whole thing so then um, we can do if operator, so the variable we just created, if operator equals, so in in Python, this is equals, so like this is equal for a variable, but this is like equal, equal, like equal, equal, okay, actually, um, if operator equals num1, okay, actually, it's actually plus, it, uh, so we'll do plus first that, then, uh result equals num one plus num two so this is basically really easy right you just you just do the operator and then put the operator here num one and then operator num two so it's basically easy so what we can do is just do it like like copy it And then we can just change it. We also have to change this to L if, because it's basically if blah 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 else do this. So if if I do this, then good. But uh, but if I do this, that but if I don't do that, then do this. Okay, but we still have one thing left. So, we have to print it. So, print, um, comma, actually. So, not that. Um. <laughs> and we want to delete one of the braces. Brackets, I mean. I don't know what's it called. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it's called. But, yeah. We just need to put it for every one of them. That. And we actually have one last thing left, so... Yeah, I just lied about there was one thing left. But, um, there's two things left, so... Uh, we already completed one task. So then now we do the second one, which is... Um, so if you, like, type in a random thing, like... Like that. Um, and you press enter. Then it will actually still do it. So we need to make it so you can... It, it tells you that that is not 
a number and you are very bad at math. No, I'm just joking. Um, and just to say that uh, that number is not valid. So let's do that. So then we can do else print operator uh, print and then put an F behind it. Um, is not a valid operator. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically it. So we can just run tutorial. Enter operator. Division. Enter the first number. Y'all try to do this, boy. And the second number. Five. Oh! Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, um, it, can, it actually works. But that didn't really show how it works. So, let's do it again. Um. Uh, Sadly, you can't run it again there, so you have to manually run it, but yeah. Enter an operator plus one, one. So, it actually does it, and you can see it's two points. Okay. Oh. Okay, and then, um, you can see it's 2.0, but it's a, like a decimal. Which means that it should work on decimals, right? So let's test that out. 1.1. 1.1. Yo, small as. Okay, anyways. Um, but that's um, our calculator. But we haven't tested one last thing. Which is, if we type in... So if we type in... Then... Yeah, so... It says it's not a valid operator. So yeah, that's our basic um, t t calculator tutorial today. So if you liked and sub if you liked it, subscribe and like, like and subscribe. So I'll see you in the next one.